Yo, what is up guys? Are you ready for this video idea? Yeah? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure you can handle it? I, I don't really know what I'm doing with this intro. Point is, my username is Parker2. So I want to generate a world with Parker2, and I want to see how fast we can speedrun it. If we can do it in 15 minutes, that means we're a speedrunner. Anything slower than that, and I'll be slightly disappointed in myself. So 15 minutes is the time to beat. I had no idea how hard this would be. This world is terrible. I suppose the first thing we should do is slash locate buried treasure. Yeah, that's 900 blocks away. What about a shipwreck? That's 1200 blocks away. What about a village? A village is a thousand blocks away. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to enter the nether without any structures. Would you spawn next to this cave? Some exposed iron. Do we have seven here? One? No, we have one. Okay, that's not great. I'm gonna need to find some more iron, but I guess then we're gonna dig down to this lava pool, which also has iron. That's not bad. Let's see what the nether looks like. We're looking for a bastion or a fortress close to us. Anything, really? We're on an island in the middle of a lava lake? Okay, this isn't looking so good. Okay, nearest bastion is 600 blocks away. That's not very good. I forget how bad Minecraft worlds can be. This is our bastion. We have to travel all of this, bro. Oh my gosh. We're not even there yet. We're not even there yet. Where's our spawn? There's our spawn. Oh, this is this is quite terrible, actually. Okay, this is an 80 block long speed bridge. That doesn't even get us to the island. This is, oh, this is terrible. Please tell me at least the Bastion has some good loot. Gold armor, okay, that's fine. The other side better have some obsidian. Oh, this is, this is a bad Bastion. I gotta find a fortress, though. The nearest fortress is 600 blocks away? You're joking me, bro. And welcome to post-commentary. I figure it'd be better if, like, the last half of the run, you guys don't know a ton about it. Honestly, I didn't know a ton about the last half of the run. I was kind of feeling things out as I did several runs. This took, like, two hours to do, guys. Two hours! I, my, I set the goal as 15 minutes, an arbitrary number, because I was just like... You know, that was like one of my first like good solid PB, so like I should be able to do it if I know everything about the world. No, 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 no. This world is absolutely terrible. Sometimes I'd fall down this hole and th there would just be like creepers and zombies there to kill me. I, I did solve this, I think, uh, by switching it to easy mode. There seemed to be far less mobs after I did that, but you'd still occasionally get a couple mobs down here and it was just not fun. The whole thing is also like pretty slow. I if I had any structure around, like a shipwreck, a buried treasure. I, I would be able to do this probably like a minute faster, but this overworld takes like three minutes or something. The, the only real uh, time save that you can do is like smelt your iron while you're doing other stuff. So I'm gonna grab a couple more pieces here. I have four, this will be five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm actually gonna get nine pieces of iron. Normally you, you only need like seven, but in this case, I wanna make some shears because we have that, that giant lava lake we're surrounded by and we, we kind of need to, to tackle that. So I'm gonna use a whole bunch of leaves. I, I'm pretty sure in this run, I use up an entire shears worth of durability. Uh, we also got pretty lucky there with some flint, which was nice. I think the, the worst I had, it was like, I had to mine 20 gravel or something. But now I'm getting to like the, the make or break part of the run. Well, honestly, like any part of a run is the make or break. You kind of have to do the whole thing. But this was especially annoying because I needed so much food, not only to like run to the bastion, but we have to run the same distance the other direction to get to the fortress. And like, I can use pearls, which makes it a lot faster, but to use pearls, you need a ton of food. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna kill like four or five pigs here and get like 10 pork chops. I also grab a dandelion for later in the run because that like 10 pork chops isn't enough food to finish a speed run, which is kind of absurd. Like <laughs> the, the world record, you only need to eat like three pieces of food for the entire run. But this one I'm, I'm getting 10 pork chop and then a dandelion to make some suspicious stew later on in the run. Thinking about pace here was also kind of difficult. The first like, good completion I had of this seed was 1530. So I had a good enough route to get a sub 15. I just kind of need to clean up all of my mistakes. So like an, a good enter would be like three minutes and 14 seconds, I think was like my, my best nether enter. So I think we're on pretty good pace here. We've crafted up all of our stuff. I just need to go over to that cool gravel patch I found earlier. I, I feel like uh, when you do routing worlds like this and you know everything beforehand, finding like key things to remember is important. So like I, I would always be like, oh, I go to the top right of this gravel patch and that's where I need to be. So 
like figuring out stuff all throughout the run with that, like especially in the nether and doing parkour, it was very fun. I also think my portal building here is probably pretty solid. I only messed this up once and we should be entering the nether, yeah, at like 320 or something, which was isn't the fastest, but I think it's probably the fastest for the most amount of resources I have. Like I have like three stacks of these guys and I'm gonna use all of them pretty much before I get to the bastion. We also, oh, we only have seven cooked pork chop. Okay, that's not as much as I thought. Seven is like the minimum that I would go off. And then you'll see me here. I totally misjudged the direction I was supposed to be building. Even after like two hours of doing this, I'd still get a, a little bit messed up. I feel like with every run, I would get more leaves because I, I would just end up needing them. Like some of the early runs, I would be mining netherrack constantly as I'm running. But later on, I, I just figured uh, I get, get get enough with the leaves. And then we finish our boating down, which is hype. I can't imagine doing like speed runs without a boat, bro. Like how would you get down from that place if you didn't have a boat? Boats are just overpowered for traversing terrain in like anywhere in Minecraft. Oh, this part was also kind of sketchy. This was the first time that there were some piglins here. So I blocked that guy with a leaf. He unfortunately hit me. It might've been the crossbow guy that hit me actually, but that was that was a big thing for this run. It's like, you can't get hit like at all because that's just gonna use up some of your food and then you're not gonna be able to pearl. So a couple runs, I would just get hit by like a piglin three times or something. And I literally just wouldn't have enough food to like get to the fortress because Pearls do like two and a half hearts of damage every throw, which is like a lot of food. Also, this terrain, I never like had a perfect route just because it was so long, especially this part. There were like a couple different paths I would take. Sometimes I would mess up. This one's like, it's fairly clean. I'm pretty sure I mess up right here. Yeah, I stumble kind of around, but no major mistakes. I don't take too much fall damage. This was honestly one of my favorite parts of the whole run, just running through the basalt deltas. Honestly, if you're trying to get better, uh, I remember hearing from some good Minecraft people when I was just starting to try and get better at speedrunning. One of the best ways, or not speedrunning, but like Minecraft in general. I feel like one of the best ways to get better at your movement skills is just grab a whole bunch of blocks, like go into creative mode or, or like survival, and just run through a basalt deltas. It gets you a lot better at your, your block placements. Right here was a bit scary. You saw I ran out of leaves, and, and normally I'd have one more block there, but I just barely managed to make the jump, so run almost died because... I wasn't watching my leaf count. Thankfully it didn't. This part was also noteworthy because like right on top of this hill, I once had some endermen spawn here, which was super crazy because then I could do a pearl hang and, and basically like unrender the pearl as I'm running to the bastion. So I, I could like increase my render distance and teleport back there whenever I wanted, which would save honestly, maybe only like 20 or 30 seconds, but 20 or 30 seconds in a, in a speed run is super hype and it would save me health. So I was super excited. I killed an Enderman and I got, ooh, oh yeah, that boat thing, ooh, kind of bad. But I killed an Enderman back there and I got a pearl and I pearl hung it, but then I messed up the pearl and wasted it and died. And it was really sad because I didn't ever get another chance to do a pearl hang. It would have just saved so much time, dude, and hunger. But this run, this run is still pretty good. We're, we've entered the Bastion like, I can't remember, probably like a 620, it's not like 630 something. My first run, I remember it was like not even sub seven. It was like I entered the Bastion at seven minutes and something. So we've saved like 40 minutes over the course of like an hour or two practicing the seed over and over. And honestly, there's probably a lot better of a way to run this seed. I'd be super interested to see like other top Minecraft speedrunners run this exact seed and see how fast they can do it. Or even you guys, like if you want to run this seed, do it and let me know. Like make a, like put a video out of it. I would love to see that. It would be super hype. Maybe I'll like link one at the uh, end of a video. So we're now running down uh, the Bastion. I'm mining a, a gold block here just try to try to get some more pigs. I managed to get that guy. I think this is the first run that I snagged that guy, but I'm gonna re-aggro, just try to get all, all the piglins uh, angry at me. I get I get a fair amount here, but there's zombie piglins everywhere, so I kinda have to do some funky, funky routing. Like, I'm running over this direction for two reasons. One, to aggro even more piglins. I'm actually gonna make a second piglin hole, which you 
don't hardly ever see in speedruns. But it's also nice because I need to go this direction to get some uh, mushrooms for that dandelion stew. I get hit like twice. Well, I get like two pearl trades in a row. Dang, that's kind of crazy. I get hit twice there, which I, I shouldn't be doing. But we have a solid amount of food. And I only need... I think I grab more mushrooms than I need. Honestly, I only need enough mushrooms for one stew. But I grab a couple extra just in case there were a couple runs. Oh, get wrecked, gas. There were a couple runs where I just completely ran out of food and that was kind of like in the, the learning curve in the beginning. I was like, wow, I need a lot more food than I think. I'm also like, wow, I have way more pearls than I think. I could be leaving at one of my best paces. Grab all the obsidian, we're totally good to go. I just need some string and pearls. Look at that, even more string, even more pearls. I keep some gold on me, which is uh, very important. And I have like more string than anybody could ever use in a speedrun. So I'm out, I'm totally out at like 8.30. I think the best I had left the Bastion beforehand was probably like nine minutes or something like that. So we're like 20 minutes uh, faster than our fastest pace ever. And now we start purling. These pearls, I had to go, like after doing a couple runs, I just messed up a bunch of pearls. I had to go and like route every single pearl that I would throw because like one mess up pearl, you fall a couple blocks, you take even more damage, maybe you'll die. But I have like these indicators, like I would throw it directly over that leftmost pillar and then I'd end up exactly on this spot. This pearl, I kind of just, Yeet, it's a big target I'm going for, so it doesn't really matter. And hopefully we're going to be entering the fort, like, sub 10 minutes. Actually, okay, there's no way I'm going to be doing it sub 10 minutes, because we still have, like, five more pearl throws. But I think my fastest getting to the fort before this one was probably, like, 11 minutes. So I was not really starting to get nervous here, but I was like, ooh, this could be this could be a good pace. And I, I've, I really wanted to just finish it, because I had been speedrunning this world for so long, and it just felt really nice. Um, I got a little bit confused here because I meant to pearl down onto that lower ledge and I, I just pillared on that like floating block, like something you would see out of Avatar. Honestly, I was worried I, I messed up the whole thing, but no, we're totally good. There's only like two more pearl throws and then we should be at the fortress. Maybe it would have been faster to go to the fort. Actually, no. Like, I'm trying to think what, what could have made this run faster. And like the fort is a lot closer to our portal than the bastion. But you're gonna have to go to a bastion anyways, unless you wanna just mine gold and then trade it, which just feels kinda lame. I, I like uh, tra trading at a bastion. You just get so many more resources. So we're at the, the fortress at 10, 14. Honestly, not a terrible pace. We only have one blaze here. That's to be expected though. That, that lava kinda destroys spawns just cause it's so bright there. I don't think I ever got more than one blaze from that spawner actually. This was the first time I, I fought a skeleton though, like in the entire run. We also got two more strays here, which is nice. One more drop. Does another guy drop? Another drop. So we have three blaze rods. I actually only need five blaze rods to finish this run. I'm gonna juke out the skeleton here. Boom, actually get destroyed. And we're at our uh, second blaze spawner. And this is where I start to get nervous because I had just like gotten a 1530 or something. And I said at the beginning of the video, I really wanted to get a, a 15 minute run. And that was that was kind of the whole point of this thing. I just been running it for so long. I was like, okay, this has to be the run. I can't screw anything up here. So I'm gonna build out to make sure my blazes don't go everywhere. Mine, mine the blocks with fire on them, just clear up all my spawn space. I like going out two blocks here. Uh, sometimes I'll do it a little bit differently on other worlds, but this seemed nice. I almost die though. Like, Thank goodness I, I realized my fire resistance was uh, getting low, like a, a split second before they shot me, because I only took like one tick of fire damage, and now we eat the suspicious dude. Look how much it heals me. I'm surprised I didn't start doing this earlier in my running. Oh, look at that, we have our five rods, so I'm out. But with the susp suspicious stew, that was like a big strat for people like a year or two ago. But now people don't really do it because you just get a ton of food from uh, like buried treasures. And I feel like I've, I've just never built that habit of getting, oh, I almost died there. I've never built this habit of collecting dandelions. So I just totally overlooked it for like the first half of recording this video. But that dandelion stew kind of saved me here. I'm gonna grab two more pieces of wood. Uh, because we're gonna do a zero cycle and I wasn't sure if I had enough blocks. I, I kind of did. We also have a gold pick, which is nice. I forgot to save some gold from the Bastion so many times, but now we're digging down onto the stronghold. And this was, this was probably the most tricky part. I tried so many times, per, like portaling into the, the stronghold and I did it once. But after that, I just couldn't do it. Like, no matter, like I went to the same exact coordinates and, and it just wouldn't take me directly next to the portal room, which is kind of sad. So 
we would be entering a lot faster here, but I have to mine towards the portal room. And I, I honestly didn't have a, a route for this. I kind of just guessed where the portal room is because I'd seen it in Spectator like a couple times. I was like, okay, I need to go for like 10 blocks and like to the side 10 blocks. And then I got to dig down. And thankfully it works out. I hear a silverfish. Um, so I know I'm, I'm in relatively the right direction. See the stone here, but I'm not going to drop down because I'm on one of the heart and I think I'm going to die. So I'm going to go over to the corner and do a hunger reset. This way I'll be... Uh, full health, full hunger to do my, my cool zero cycling. This isn't the cleanest um, like preparation for zero. I, I, I sleep for half a second. I'm like, what do I do? I just get back in the corner, kill myself. Um, so now we're, we're totally good to go. And I just got to not mess up the zero cycle. This was only the second time I had done the zero cycle. I'm pretty sure the first time I entered the end, I hadn't looked at it before. And so I didn't even know if it was zeroable. Thank goodness it is. There's nothing super tricky about it, but... Oh my gosh, this this was just so slow prepping for zero. I knew I had time, but I don't know. It's just kind of sad to see like the, the finish run have some like mechanical errors, but it's kind of whatever. It's a good thing I didn't mess up this zero cycle. That, that was the main thing on my mind. I was like, okay, okay. This is my fastest end enter. I can't mess this up because I don't want to keep doing this for another two hours. <laughs> and I think I do it pretty well. Uh, I'll try to link a video at the end. Uh, if somebody else wants to run this seed as well, I'd be interested to see like any top level speedrunners, how fast they can do it. You know, free video idea. If any top speedrunners are looking for making a video, I know a couple of people maybe from HBG. Um, the only other noteworthy thing to say about this run is after I finish the zero cycle, I'm not doing so hot. I killed the dragon, I'm on two hearts, and I have nothing to get down. I can't boat down, because I don't have a boat, and I can't water bucket down. So I take some extra fall damage, and now I'm on like one and a half hearts, sketchily trying to make my way down before the 15 minute mark. Oh my gosh, dude, what a way to end it. I probably won't run this again, but maybe we'll do Rec Rap 2, if you guys like this.